We have with us today Julie Guy from 101.5. Yeah, baby. When I get up every morning at 5 o'clock, I get in the truck at quarter to 6, I listen to Tamara G and her in the morning. Yeah! <laughs> I don't want to go and I don't want to sweat, but then when I'm up, I got to go with <laughs> um, She's going to speak on uh, inspiration of an angel of Caleb. So would, I need your attention, and please be quiet. It's like you're in church of temple, okay? All right. Big Jim's watching. All yours. Thank you, Jim, for that. And thank you for listening at 5 o'clock in the morning. We don't start till 530. <laughs> 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 Love you too. So um, I love Harry and Don Berry, and I love all the berries. I went to high school with some of the berries. Uh, South Broward Bulldogs. A lot of Bulldogs. Yeah. 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 And some Bulldogs back there as well. So we all know that our children, and I am a mother, uh, our peers are who they listen to more than their parents and they probably never listen to their parents until they're much older. So when you have a peer that makes a difference, you want to recognize them. And Kayla Soto Mayor absolutely was one. I never had the pleasure of meeting Kayla, but I feel like I did. I feel like I knew her because I know her mom so well. Uh, Kayla's mom, Dawn and I, failed miserably at algebra <laughs> at South Broward. It's a wonder I graduated from high school. And um, she is the beautiful mother of this very special lady. And I'm privileged to read this letter that Kayla's big sister wrote about her little sister. So if you wouldn't mind paying attention, these are not my words, but I'm thrilled and honored to be able to read them. So here we go. As the world continues to advance, the issues that children in our communities face grow more and more complex. The mentorship that Lighthouse for Students provides helps kids through both education and by give, giving kids someone to talk to and learn from. With that in mind, I could not think of a better organization for our family to support in my late sister's honor. Kayla Sotomayor, from a young age, loved to learn. Part of me likes to think that as her older sister, I influenced some of her eagerness to learn. But in truth, Kayla was always curious. She always asked the questions no one else thought to ask. And better, she listened, really listened. She strived to understand concepts and people in equal measure. Naturally, it came as no surprise that once she was a bit older, tutoring and teaching others became something Kayla approached with passion. Throughout her high school and college years, Kayla spent much of her free time both tutoring and mentoring students younger than herself and her peers. She loved sharing what she learned with others, and above all, she loved helping others. Children especially held a special place in Kayla's heart, and that's a place I know she'd want all of us, her family, her friends, her community, to act from. Not all of us may have her grace or seemingly effortless way of being able to explain complex ideas in simple words, but we all have the power to make our community a better place. I can personally think of no better place to start than improving the lives of children. When the youth in a community thrive, it enriches the whole community. So today, I humbly ask you to consider my sister Kayla and her beautiful mom and the ideals she carried close to her heart and consider making a donation to Lighthouse for Students, a wonderful organization that holds these very ideals as its pillars. That is from Hannah Holcomb, and that is the big sister of Kayla Sotomayor and the beautiful mother, Dawn, right there. Yeah. about this incredible organization. So I think all of us uh, would do well to support Lighthouse for Students. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.